don't touch please. my stuff. Stop don't at me. touch my stuff. Do you want me to call the I don't care who you call, call me. Don't touch my stuff. Because I'll come out here and touch all this crap. Don't, I don't touch your stuff. Don't go in the box. This is undone. Janice, we had a conversation it. about that being in the way. I don't though. care. You Claire don't have mobility Brand issues, though. Mobility, my butt. She's oh. not in a wheelchair. That doesn't mean anything. She uses care. a cane. I don't care. Don't touch it. Okay. She don't uses a cane. Don't touch it again. You start a war with me. Don't a touch war. it. War. What does that mean? Don't touch it. My goodness, hold up, okay, hold up, wait. I need to read this, because I'm trying to pay attention to this video, but now I have to read things, and I'm like, Ugh. Okay, we got the gist, okay, cool. So basically, you know, there's something in the way, and she's like, no, don't touch it. You can't touch this. Okay, well, Miss Karen, wasn't, well, her name was like, what, Janice? Janice? I'm not gonna call you Janice, I'm gonna call you Karen, okay? Karen, get your head out of your ass, okay? Cool, like, ah, oh, God. It is, what, 10.40 something in the morning on a Monday. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. And I'm already looking at Karen videos and I'm already done with the week. Thank you so much, Karen. Why can't you just be nice and like understanding and just like do the thing and move the pot and just like call it a day. Like, I, mm, mm, Karen, oh God. I'm already losing brain cells and I can't afford to do that. I have a whole week ahead of me. Like, I just got them back. I'm losing them again. I think one just fell out. Just look at that. Whoa, brain cell. Man. Wear a mask. Well, actually, oh no, not the mask. <laughs> no, this is not free okay, speech. Okay, well, what? that's a requirement of state of well, Actually, Contra no Contra rule County. overrides the Constitution. Okay, okay. You can have Wait, are, are we in America? Are we still okay. in the US of A? No, I'm asking okay. a question. Are we? I don't know where you, you think you are, but you're in Costco. You know, you're in Costco. Costco. We can wear the mask because it's so satanic. You know that the mask okay. nice and day, the six feet apart. Okay, well, fine. you Don't should get me. a clue, Jim. You should get a clue. You are being filmed the whole time. Jim, Bo. Jimbo? Oh my god. Are we still in the US of A? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. I mean, I'm not, thank god. But like, you are. You're also in a Costco. You are inside. You are in an establishment. You gotta wear a mask. This isn't anything new. We are now in 2022. And we're still having this debate. I fear for humanity. I really, truly do. Leave Jim alone. Put the thing on your face. Go get your big jumbo Costco whatever things you wanted. And just leave. As soon as you get out of the store, you can take it off, okay? That, that If anything, that should just be like motivation to get in, get your stuff, and get out, right? Like you're not gonna be walking around Costco for half an hour. If you really don't wanna be wearing the mask, you're gonna go grab your things and leave, right? Right, 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 yeah. Ah, a Karen stormed into our Christmas party. What? White people what? really have all the audacity. In, in, in the house? What? She really walked into someone else's house to tell them to pipe down? Baby, it's Christmas. Like in this video, obviously. But like, can't, can't you just like not be a Grinch and let these people have their party? What is going on? Karen, like I get it. Your kids did not want to come spend Christmas with you and you're really sad about it, but that doesn't mean you have to crash everybody else's fun, right? Go, go watch a Christmas movie, okay? Drink some eggnog, suck on a candy cane, do something festive. You don't have to go crash the party. You don't have to walk into somebody's house. Like that's, that's not your house. And you didn't even knock. You just burst in like, can you like keep it down? No, Karen, leave. Not today, Karen. Bye. Have you been living under a rock? Do you know about coronavirus? Yeah, and I know you're not wearing a mask, so you clearly don't care about coronavirus. No, you also know that I stay away from people. How am I supposed to know that? It's a public bench. If you don't want someone to sit next to you, then get up. You're rude. You're rude. You're I rude. saw the disgusting look you gave me and my friend. I do. There's Gladys, Miss Sweet Gladys. Let me tell you something. Tell Gladys it, tell it. There's royalty. Thank you very much. Oh, well, she's so royal. <laughs> I remember seeing this video like last week. Oh my God. I will say they're both in the wrong. I'm pretty sure I said this last time too. Like they're both just as toxic as each other. But like, I will say the whole Miss Gladys, that, that just sent me. I, that, that's, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. But like, again, like they're both just equally as bad. <laughs> Ugh, there's no, there's really no redeeming quality of, of, in that video at all. They're just like, no masks. 
not staying apart, both being mean to each other, like, oh God. The Karens are rubbing off on everybody and you know, it's like a contagion. The second pandemic, Karenism. No, 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 I wanna hear this, I wanna hear this, let's go. Who, who, who made the mess? Who? The signs don't mean nothing. The signs don't mean nothing. Can you just, you know, make my shit so I can go? No way. No way. You re- Oh my god, why? Why? I- Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even wrap my head around this. Like, can somebody please explain to me what compels somebody to just have an outburst like that? I don't get it. I guess I'm just not the type of person to like lash out physically, but like, what are we doing here? Like you're mad because they won't make you your stuff. Okay, fine. You can, you, every, anybody can be mad about whatever they want. Like, you know, you can't stop them, but it's about how you behave that really matters. Like that was so incredibly unnecessary. Like you could have just like taken a breather and left, but instead you just had to like trash the store and you were caught on film or camera or whatever you want to call it. So like, you're really not, you're not helping yourself out there. You're just digging yourself deeper and deeper. Ugh, people. You guys wrapped that by any chance? was ready to fight me for 100 000. What's the serial number on it? Like I no. Promise is yours? It is mine. It came out of my pocket. But I found it. No, you're going to give it to me. It's my hand drive. Promise? Make yeah. you promise? It's mine. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, it's fake, ma'am. Look, it says for motion picture use yeah. only. Oh my God, they really tried to catch Karens. That, it's an entire prank video trying to catch Karens. Oh boy, oh boy. I mean, that Karen certainly fell for it, but she really didn't have to be snatching that bill up like that. Like, I get it. You're trying to get your coin or whatever, but like, that was incredibly unnecessary. Like, oh, that's my hundred. No, no, it's not. It's not even real money, okay? Stop trying to take people's money, even if it was real. Like. I don't get why somebody would be like, oh, well, that's fine, when it really isn't, you know? $100 is a lot of money. So, kind of, um, kind of a PP move if you ask me. But hey, who am I to say? Like, I'm just a person on the internet. Nobody listens to me. I'm just serious. You understand? Leave me alone. What, because I'm gay and wearing a keeper? Is that why? It's you, Lusha. You're desecrating the Explain it, talk it out. You're desecrating the name of God. Leviticus because of my 18, outfit? verse 20 says, Any man that lies with another man, that's an abomination. It's told by Hashem. You'll be murdered for it. Take the keep off. You're going no. to rule Hashem. This is my life in my city. Life. I don't have to take my keep off. Stay in the closet. Make no. sure your closet is in another closet. Instead, you want to come out and you still be in a closet. Take your keep off. This is not Judaism. Cool. So we've moved on from racism to homophobia. How spicy. Wow. What the? Nah. WTF, dude. I guess we're just covering all the bases with the Karens today. Whoo, boy oh boy. I don't, I don't know what to say to that. I truly, truly do not. Like, oh God. I feel like anything I say could definitely be taken out of context. So I'm just going to be like, mm, that's wrong. Little bit offended. Just like, mm, 30% offended. <laughs> but like, oh my God. Ugh, it's fine, you know what? This love and affection right here goes out to all the, the, the girls, the gays, and the theys, okay? Why do you carry that flag? Because this is my heritage. My family fought to save their farm under this flag. Oh, not the farm. Who was working that farm? My, my family was. was. Who was working the farm? They were poor. Do you know how much a slave cost back then? It was at this moment that he knew. He f up. Yeah. Do you know how much a slave cost back then? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we went from homophobia to racism. Wow. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're really going deep into this now. Oh, boy. I don't even think this can really classify as a Karen video. This is just straight up bigotry. Like, 
Cool. Lovely. No, but seriously, like, if anybody comes up to me being like, oh, like something, some homophobic or something racist, like, I will not hesitate to just bop, bop. Like, I'm not the type of person to like throw hands, but it just takes a little bit of, a little bit of spice to be like, hmm, we we have an issue here. We have a little bit of an issue. Okay? Okay. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I've never worn a mask. Uh, we can't let you in the store without one. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have a medical and religious exemption. Yeah. Uh, it you don't, you don't break me. civil laws, do you? Uh, this is a reservation. What? An Indian reservation. What does that mean? It means that whatever laws apply out there does not apply in here. There is no law for a mask. There is no mandate is for a mask. Yeah. Your policy does not supersede the law. It's against my religion and I have a health condition. I can't wear a mask. Oh, there's the sign. You're breaking the law by if, you, if you're trying to refuse service, you're what breaking the law. Hmm. You see this look on my face? This is the look of being in the press. This is this is this is big sigh. This is I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I I can't keep watching these videos. They're just making me so upset. People suck. Why do we suck so much? I. Uh, I Way to start the new year. It is January 3rd, and I'm already over it. Thank you. The arrow says go this way. Hurry up, you're in their way. <gasps> oh, goodness. <laughs> I know, that's what my wife tells me. I didn't believe it until just now. <laughs> oh. Do I need to call the police? Come on. <laughs> okay, watch, let me see. Is that enough? No. Oh! They can't, get out anyway. they can't get out! Lady, you gotta move to the side so people can get around. Oh my god! Okay, first of all, I only see. understood about 40% of what she was saying, but she really did say catch me outside, how about that? Why? Don't really know. Like, if you're mad, why you why do you keep coming back in the store? Like, just leave. Go about your day, get out your angry energy by, like, screaming in the car or something. No, take my order. Oh, I've yeah, seen this. Yo, take my order right now. I will call the police on you. Can you imagine if you're a police officer and you show up to a McDonald's and she's like, she's not taking my order. Like, how do you even respond to that? I think you'd probably find this lady for even calling you in the first place. And I also love how off the top, she's like, you're being disrespectful. And then she, then she comes back with that. Take my order right now or I'm gonna call the police on you. Like, dude, no. What I need to get in my car and get to a job and you're you don't have to treat me like this. I didn't do anything to you. So you what? did too. You parked her in. Oh, and I'm really hurt. Yes, yeah. I need to get to my I have responsibilities I need to get to. This is my parking spot. No, it's not. The le I signed a lease here. They said you can park right there. No, I didn't. Were you there? Were you there when she signed the lease? Why are you yelling at me? So who the fuck are you? Somebody she asked to help her. Good. Huh, I've seen this one too, and you know what? My initial thought, which I'm literally sticking to in this video as well, is like that poor animal. That poor dog just wants to go on his walk right now, and like his owner is getting involved with this. Like even he knows that this is stupid. Why are you doing that, lady? Like just move your car a little bit and none of this would happen. You know, like they're yelling at you because they got stuff to do, man. Man, if, even if I was the manager, and she approached me like that, she's like, are you the manager? Who's the manager? I'd be like, nope, it's not me. <laughs> like, I'm just walking in the other direction, man. 
I can't even imagine having to deal with somebody like this. Like, oh, uh, like even just listening to her voice is just like, like so like shrieky and loud and oh, I just don't want anything to do with that. It doesn't matter. I already canceled the ride. How am I being disrespectful? I already canceled the ride. How am I being disrespectful? You have to get out. How already am canceled I being... the ride. Just I'm order, order another one. Bro. You could call the cops. It's fine. Right. You could call the cops. Let me call the cops, man. That's fine. Call the cops. Nah, bro. You being mad disrespectful. You're the one that you're and in I'm the car. You're the car. And you're still not. And you're and still I'm not in the car. So you're showing exactly what the reason yeah. why I'm kicking you out. Wow, I, you know what? I feel for police. Like, I literally feel for police officers if they have to regularly get calls like this. Like, she straight up was about to call the cops. I wonder how many times a day, like, police get just ridiculous calls like this. Like, I'm getting kicked out of my Uber because, like, I won't put my mask up, okay? Um, <clears throat> this is 911. We deal with real emergencies here. Like, I don't even understand. Well, they have my number, and, and they have my phone. Well, let's... You we know, don't have I your phone. It was... I just stuck it right here. You walk right behind me. Right, how about you type it in? You type it in. I did not take it. <sighs> <laughs> what are you even doing? Right now. Is it in your purse, ma'am? Oh, sorry. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. You know, it's like people like that really annoy the hell out of me. It's like any problem that goes wrong in their life. And this is probably like this is universal for anything that happens with this lady. Anything that goes wrong, it's someone else's fault. Like it can't possibly be me. Like I know where I put my phone. My phone is definitely not in this purse. And yet, where is it? It's in the purse. It's your fault. Come on, man. Do better. Hey, so I'm going to ask for your consent to video this because you stopped me. <laughs> That's your consent. Yeah. Do you mind telling me why you stopped me? You were my consent. Okay, so you just stopped me and called me whore. You just stopped me, you flagged me down in the street. You flagged me down in the street, sir. Shut up. Watch your mouth. I did what? What are you talking about? Watch your mouth second time. I didn't call you whore. What did you call me? Fuck. Okay, you said I'm a slut. We've never met, right? Say sorry. Why? Say sorry. Because you said I called you whore. Okay. Why? You're telling this, you stopped this guy. You're telling him, say sorry after you straight up said, f you, my consent. Like literally three separate times. That is what you said. And then he says something, which basically you did say, and you're like, apologize to me. This is abhorrent, guys. Like she chose something worse than violence today. She chose just like anarchy. That's what she chose. She's like, I'm gonna lose my mind today on someone and it's gonna be that guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You may need me to get up, but you know what? I feel my need to do as a person, just like Jesus, mother you Christ. You need to call. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I need to do. I'm gonna say what I need to do, and if you, you're gonna do whatever you feel you need okay. to do to me, right? right? So I'm gonna say what I am meant to say. Right, right. No, to everybody. Stand up, man. Yeah, everybody is you're doing this. You're gonna get arrested if you do not I'm stop. I'm already gonna get arrested. You're gonna get arrested if you don't stand up and get off the aircraft. Probably already gonna get arrested. Do you want to get arrested? I really then honestly. Then stand up and get off the aircraft. Wow. She's going through something like this was the worst day of her life. I don't know what happened prior to this, but like there were some horrible things that I happened to this lady to get to this point like everything has gone wrong today when you've just accepted like i'm probably gonna get arrested anyways like you know that like you really do not give a shit anymore <laughs> anymore man like whatever happens it happens i don't care okay well that was very rude how she definitely it literally me. says do okay. not pet on every you single you should have a sign number one there number is two. like four signs you should say there are four signs she should on my not leave say alone no no. She should Excuse say sorry. The These dogs are in no. The dogs are in training. Sorry. That could have been nicer. She could have approached you. You asked the question. She and I pet the dog, and she said no. You. She should have said that they the were in training. You can walk away now. I don't owe you anything. Bye. Oh man, again, the poor animals. The poor animals. This guy's like, I'm just getting trained right now, man. Like, like it'd be nice if you could pet me, but like, I'm getting trained. So can I just go get trained? And like, all these humans, these dumb humans, man. You know, it's like the dogs, they're getting trained. Really? The humans needed to get trained in that video. That's what needed to happen. We could learn a lesson from those chill, relaxed, freaking dogs that are just hanging out. It's because of you Chinese people. Ooh. You're doing well. Cute. I'm gonna call, my, my family is one of the best lawyers in Montreal. Who are you? 
You just like leave these poor people alone? Oh, What's wrong with you? Uh, What's wrong with you? You guys you are, are like, fucking... like shame on you. It's shame on you. It's been twenty fucking twenty one months that we deal with this. Oh. Twenty one months that we deal on you. Yeah, shame on you. That's it. Those are my comments on that one. Literally, shame on you and your stupid, like, best lawyer in the freaking country or whatever it is that you have. Like, screw you guys. Hate it. I don't stop. Oh. I never stop. Oh. What? I do not. Please you stop. Bang on the ceiling for fun? You bang on my ceiling all the time. I am so tired of it. You think we do it for it. fun? You think we do it because we're bored? I am tired of you. Well, I'm tired of you, lady. I'm tired of having to listen to your crap every what? night. I don't do it every night. Every night. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> you need to get her, sir. You, you can get, get my ass. I am tired of you. Oh, thank you. I am not going hey, anywhere. Let me tell you something. My kids are asleep. Get your ass back upstairs, lady. I am so tired of you. Wow. That is a lot, dude. Honestly, like that guy off the top was like, you, do you think that we do it for fun? I would start doing it for fun. I would start knocking on a ceiling for fun. I know, I know, it's bad. But like, this is too much. If we can just make this happen voluntarily, like, I think I'd have to, man. I just, I don't think I can help myself. <laughs> you know, that is a Karen absolutely gone wild. And, um, and it's just kind of humorous to me. I just want to make sure we're in 2021. Caucasian is not a good word to say. I'm not speaking for half of people in here, but I'm mm. just saying, don't, say, don't say that. Don't say Caucasian. No. Got it. No. Caucasian is the best. This is the most on brand 2021 ever, <laughs> Literally, I just got told a word I can't say. This is hilarious, my name. 22 this is stupid white people. That's it. That, yeah, I, I don't even know what to, you can't say that. What? Like, that is what it is, dudes. Like, that is just what it is. Like, I am not offended by that. Like, call me a Caucasian all you need. Like, that, that's what we got going on here. That's what we are, you know? Caucasian is not the word you want to say when you're about. No, no, don't forget. I just want to make sure we're in 2021. Caucasian is not a good word to say. I'm not speaking for half of people in here, but I'm mm. just saying, just don't, just don't say that. Don't say Caucasian. No. Got it. <laughs> Caucasian is the best. This is the most on brand 2021 sh ever, bro. Literally, I just got told a word I can't. This is hilarious, my. I'm not racist at all. I'm not saying you're racist. Caucasian is a slur in 2021. We cannot say that. <laughs> no. I want to say this is not real, but I know it's real. I know deep down in my soul this is real. Oh my god. I feel like if I say it, then people are going to come for me. I'm like I'm afraid. Like am I going to get canceled if I talk about the caucasity? It's not it's not a slur. It is not a bad word, okay? If you when you're filling out a form and they ask for your race, Caucasian is an answer. So it's not a bad word. Wait, but I got a free pass because I'm half white. Oh, see, look at that. Look at that. See, you can't cancel me. Try, I dare you. Come for me. Oh my god, he said catch me outside. <gasps> like, and that's a stupid prank too. Like, you're just like leaning something up against a person. Like, oh no, I didn't see you there. Ugh. Like, that wasn't even a good prank. Get better content, okay? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Driver completely unfazed. And the guy yelling looks like he's like on the verge of crying because he's just so mad. Like, don't you have somewhere to go? Were you not driving for a reason? You just get back in your car. You don't have to be banging on people's doors and windows and stuff trying to get them out and, and fight them in the middle of traffic, okay? If this is rush hour, all right? People are just trying to get in their cars and go places. You're holding up the line, okay? 
Am I what? Legal? Legal? Am I a legal American? I fought for this country in the U.S. Air Force, sir. Why the hell would you think I'm not a legal American? Turn the f back around and don't talk to me. Am I a legal American? Are you? I have a military ID in my pocket I could show you right now. Racist. Period. Point blank. Period. That is how you shut down racism and bigotry. I love that. Like, I fought for this country. You want to see my ID? Turn around. Props to you. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Mind your business, sir. Okay. Keep your racistness to yourself. <laughs> racistness? That's not even a word. I just coined a new word. Racistness. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> Is that all for you? <laughs> it's fucking yeah! Oh no, get away! More cheese! More cheese! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Damn. I mean, he really didn't have to do her like that. Like that was that was a little uncalled for. Okay, that was that was a little that was a little too spicy for the situation. But I mean, she also came in like, where's the cheese? Where's the like? There's no cheese in here, and then just like goes through it. Like, look, look, there's no cheese. Like, you, girl, do you not realize you're like digging up the cheese from the bottom? Like, you're mixing it. You you are tossing that salad. Okay, you're making the cheese yourself, or you could just suck it up and eat the food. What if there's a cheese shortage? Huh? You're just reminding them of the fact that there's a cheese shortage. You didn't have to do that. You could have just mucked the food and left and then complain to your husband or something or like yell at your kids Because I feel like you'd do that because like care and energy, you know <laughs> Where's the cheese? I don't know. Our phone back, please You do not have the right to have my phone with you. That's our property I'm asking for it back now. You're violating our rights. That's our property that you're having a hold of I don't say I'm not gonna waste my doctor? time yes or no? Give my phone back right now do you want to see a doctor? Yes. Give me the phone. I don't want to see the doctor today with you guys. No, I don't. I don't. Give me the phone then. When you go, I will give you No, you give me the phone then we leave. How can we leave without the phone? And the door. I'll just go grab the phone. Oh, whoa, you're attacking me. Oh, that's assault. That is assault. Give me the phone and I won't press charges. If you don't give me the phone. Okay, but why does she have the phone in the first place? That's what I want to know. How did she get a hold of the phone? Who let her have the phone? And why is she keeping it? And how, what does this have to do with a doctor? What? Do you want to see the doctor or not? What does it have to do with the cellular device? I'm confused. I'm sure there's some kind of backstory that you guys are going to tell me about in the comments and tell me that I'm stupid because I didn't know, but like, I am not God. I don't know everything. So be, just bear with me, but I'm so confused. And did he ever get his phone back? And how was he recording? Oh, wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. How is he recording if he doesn't have a phone? Yeah, you need to speak English. I'm sorry about you. Well, I'm okay. sorry about you too. Get the f out of my country. Hey, wow. see? Do you want to be a US citizen? No, so I think you are. So, what, oh, you, so now yeah. it's a just because what I look. Do you see that's the problem? No, that's I don't in have, you. That's I don't in have your any mind. problem. You're in America, you yeah. need to speak English. Okay, what I'm, what I'm doing? What do, you, what do you think I'm doing? If you're racist here, you're gonna leave. Yeah, what do you think I'm not racist. Hey, no, that's racist. This, is, this man takes care of me. You're gonna get out of here. You're gonna talk like that to him. Don't do that here. Period. Thank you, chef, for coming in and, and putting a stop to that. And the fact that she's like, ah, I'm not racist. You're telling this person to get out of your country because they didn't speak English. But then they were speaking English to you. <sighs> not the popo. I, I can't touch that because. What? Sir, I did not uh, you want violate to be you. placed in quarantine. These are also quarantine test kits. You're not going to take them? Okay. All right. Now you just lettered into my truck. Oh my God. 14 days. Okay. You have to take your day one and two tests. You have been served several documents. Also, that mask does not mask, uh, meet the federal requirements for masking. So the next time I'm giving you a warning on it today, the next time you come through, you'll be fine for having that mask. Okay. Did you know? I have a few questions for you, sir. You know, good job. He has some snarky comments to make. Oh my god. He really said, You just littered in my truck. What? <laughs> you just littered in my truck? He gave you some COVID tests, bro. You have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the. 
person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't me. We don't know me. who made it, so. You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we obviously don't know. Stupid f***ing ignorant. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the Bye. Man. Okay, you can call corporate or whatever you want. Goodbye. Do you understand? Give it to me right now. Uh -oh. What? Uh-oh. <gasps> I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Immigrant loser. What? Whoa, he bringing out all the, oh, the heat. Oh my goodness. All over a beverage. Sir, if you didn't like the beverage, you could have just moved on with your day. You didn't have to be throwing it at people, okay? Just chill out, my God. You're really coming out with all the hate, all the bigotry, all the racism and everything else, like because of a, a smoothie. Like, did they put the wrong protein powder in there or something? Like, I'm so confused. Why? Pourquoi? That's it, that's all of it. Yeah, that's it, that's it. All right, well, that's it. I've been told that's it. Sorry, I gotta go. So I will see you guys at some other point on the internet. Have a wonderful rest of your day, friends. Bye. Get better comedy, whatever you wanna call it. Cause that prank sucked. Maybe he should have caught you outside. How about that? Just resolve things yourself. Look inwards, okay? Turn the back, turn back around. I, props to you.